Yo, welcome to Hot Takes with Cheddar Chaz. There's no hand holding. We do with facts and emotion. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you haven't already. Shout out to Middle Light, DraftKings, and Topo Chico. You guys should support them because they support us. Pelicans are victorious. Um, you lose about 30 plus 40. You know, you win about 30 plus 40. That's the ebbs and flows of the NBA matchups and everything. I'm telling you, this Pelicans team does very well against smaller and slower teams. Um, but that's something we already knew. What we don't know is where some of the big name players in this league are going to end up. One being Pascal Siakam, the other being Laurie Markinen. Um, those are two very hot names on the trade market right now. If you're me, man, I feel like the Pelicans need to go all in and uh pause and try to get Laurie Markin in to solidify the uh front court and talent on this roster to make up for some of Willie Green's shortcomings. What you don't want to happen is a team like OKC, who's playing incredible right now, to add a Laurie Markin and as their final piece, or Sacramento, who you just dumped out, but who's playing well also to go add a Pascal Siakam. You also don't want the Warriors to be resurrected from the dead and they go get Pascal Siakam. There's a lot of things happening right now across the league. And the Pelicans, by them being able to tread water and, and honestly, given all of you know some of the injuries they dealt with earlier in the season, trade uh, knee issues, B.I. has some knee tendonitis, Jose, Larry, Zion's out right now with a uh, right quad contusion. This team, all things considered, has done well. I, I have to give them credit. All things considered, they've done well. Some of the things I know about for us guys, um, you know, who had a couple of nicks here and there, are playing through that. I'm not going to say the names, but a couple guys are playing through injuries, and they're um, they excelling. You know what I'm saying? They're excelling. They, they're rising to the challenge. So if you're David Griffin in the front office, you have to reward that with giving these guys a great opportunity to win a playoff series. You know what I'm saying? Advance to the Western Conference Finals. I feel like this team has the talent right now, you know, to win a series. Matchup dependent, I feel like they could win the series. But I do feel like you still need that final piece, not only for your team, but to keep other teams from getting that guy. You need to get you need to get Laurie so OKC doesn't get him or fucking Golden State doesn't get them. You know what I'm saying? Because the Kings, they they doing something. The Kings are doing something. They, they've they been ready to do something for a couple years now. I think they realize that they are too small and they're going to go try to uh, go get some reinforcements in that front court. Also, when you canvass the league, you look at some of the top scorers in the league, you got several guys averaging about 30 points. Yeah, you could say the Pelicans have a couple guys who's able of, you know, of getting to that point. But right now, they they aren't doing it you know what i'm saying the pelicans don't have an all-star right now so that means you need to supplement some of the guys you do have with more talent you need to get more space for brandon you need to get more space out there for zion williamson that way you can maximize what those guys do well as far as uh attacking the rim getting to the mid range uh getting downhill and distributing the ball i think the pelicans can do this man it's all about the front office having the same belief system i don't know how much you know, this team not having any All-Stars goes in. Well, not having any first team, uh, not first team, I'm sorry, not having any All-Star starters goes into some of the decision-making with the front office. I don't know if they just don't believe in any one guy, like, individually enough to gamble on this roster. But I do think that with the way CJ is playing, with the way Zion is playing, when healthy, when the way uh, Brandon is playing most nights, with the way JV is playing, and all of those guys – you know, consistently out there fighting. I think this team is worthy of you cashing in those chips. And that Lakers pick is looking real good right now. That Lakers pick is looking real good. In fact, it's, what time is it? It's 9.53 where I'm at right now. I'm going to watch the Lakers game. I hope the Clippers stump their ass out. If so, that pick becomes even more attractive. So I feel like I'm rambling a little bit. The bottom line is this team is worthy of the front office going all in and going get that what they think to be the final piece or second to last piece and giving this team because i think the final piece is a coach but the second to last piece to giving this team a real puncher's chance and a playoff series against a high talented team not a team that they can beat already i'm talking about a significantly better team give this team a puncher's chance in that matchup and i think i can say that this front office did an incredible job this season and you know it's, it's up to gail you know gail still has to be willing to pay the luxury tax and i think if you show her that this team you know is going to sell tickets you're going to get a playoff gate you're going to get uh even more of a playoff gate because this team is going to advance i think she'll be a little more open to listening to that but you know you never know with this ownership but that's been today's show man please be sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell notification if you haven't already what do you think do you think this team is ready do you still want to kick the can for next year do you not like laurie marketing like, what do you think? Are the Kings going to be good with Pascal Siakam? Let me know. That's been today's show. I'm out. Peace.
NBA fans, the wait is over. Basketball's back and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA, is celebrating with an unbeatable offer. New customers can score $200 instantly in bonus bets for throwing down $5 on the NBA. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. You'll start the season with an instant dub. Basketball's more fun when you're in on the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code BOOT. New customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly for betting just $5. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code BOOT. The crown is yours.